In this video, we want to look at how to create a supplier and I can do this from the purchasing responsibility. So I select buyer work center and select suppliers. And this should open on a web page. So we can search for the supplier name to see if the supplier already exists. And my supplier name is IBM. services it's always good to have a naming convention as well so if I'm using all caps and you've also got more options in case you want to search based on more options as well so you've got more options you can search by alternate supplier name inactive date and pay group and so on so I'm going to click on go so no results found so there isn't a supplier called IBM services so I'm going to go to create supplier. I can now create my supplier. I've got different types. Supplier used to process expense payments to internal employees or standard supplier. So I'm creating a standard supplier. Organization name. E Y E B M services. And I can add certain default so for example I can put in the tax country taxpayer ID as examples of um, details to enter for the supplier or I can just click on apply and then continue to create it from the details in the company profile so let me just click on apply so create new organization possible matches so is looking at this that it's possible that this is Eventon Trucking, which is, it's just got, it's a similar name, but it's just telling us that maybe that's a, an, an organization that looks like it, and it's giving us matching, whether it's 60% match and so on, whether it's a supplier or customer. So it just makes us to know that there is an existing organization with a slightly similar name. So I'm going to click on create new organization. So it's giving me my supplier number. Supply name, registry ID, and some information about my supplier. So this is in my quick update screen. So I'm gonna select the tab that says organization and add a bit more details to my supplier setup. So supplier type, manufacturing, and there are a few other things that I can add to my supply details this is related to a customer the customer number I can put in information like the Dunn's number supply URL total number of employees and so on all this is mainly just for supply information I'm going to save this information save it so organization change to the organization have been saved so I'm going to go and look at some of the other options. So let's go to purchasing. So from the purchasing options, I'm just going to click on create debit memo from RTS transactions. So that's from returns. I'm going to save this. I can push select hold new orders. Put my site in here as well. But just just have a look at some of these options. So let's have a look at some of the receiving options. So in the receiving options, you can specify things like quantity received, uh, match approval level, two-way, three-way matching, receipt routine, and some of these other options. Payment details. You can specify the default payment method. So I'm going to specify check as a default payment method. So that's my default payment method there. I can save this. And this can also be done at the site level. We're going to talk about the site level in a few minutes. And then in the invoice management options, this is where you would normally add the pay group. So we created a pay group earlier on, and I'm going to switch this to my new pay group, Alpha. 
let's click on go so I'm just going to select alpha as my pay group you got other options like always take discount you can see that some of these options payment parity payment currency all this have defaulted in from the payables options so these are some of the key setups within supplier so let's have a look at the address book and create a site so clicking on address book and I'm going to create a site and just put in an address one two three alpha lane city Boston County Suffolk state message ma postcode zero two one three four address name i'm going to call it eye and then i'm going to select payment so I, because i want this to be a pay site so let's click on continue and then we're going to select the operating unit site for this address which is my vision operations and apply so that's basically my supplier setup created it's a very basic setup key things to note that is you've got the organization details you've got the address book this is where you create your site and then you determine the purpose of that site if it's a pay site a purchasing site and so on and if you've got contact you can enter contact details business classification limit product by services banking details any approvals accounting any tax reporting purchasing receiving payment details and also relationships so if I go to payment details once again just to show you I can see I've got my vision operations um, EYE pay so if I click on update payment details I will be able to see that the default is check and that's because I've selected check also at the um, the header so payment methods will filter down to the actual sites so thanks for watching and this is how to create your supplier see you in the next video